I got my second pontoon smoothed out pretty well. And today I want to work on some pedals. And this morning I just came out here and did a little test of something. Also, we have baby ducks. They're brand new. I'll show them when they, we can like pull them out and stuff. Um, I think that's why the chickens are yelling so much. Anyway, here's the thing. So I got this thing recently in one of my uh, Craigslist tool lot buys and it's a pipe bender and I tested it on, get out of here wasp! I tested it on this aluminum aluminum pipe and it did pretty good. Didn't collapse the uh, thing. It was really hard to bend which you know is a good and a bad. It makes it, it means it's hard to do but it's really strong still. Um, so if I can take one of these pipes and bend it into pedal shape, I think that'll be really good. And then I'll, I'll wrap it with fiberglass after. This one, I think, is one solid piece that might be long enough. Oh wait, this one has threads on the end and a connector, so I'll be able to, you know, take this little piece off and put as, as much on as I need if I run out. Put a longer pipe in the handle here. Give me a bit more leverage because it was really hard to bend it. Um, all right, I need to make a thing that looks like this. Yeah, I'm sure you can see that. Hopefully these will be rotated 90 degrees to these. Yesterday my friend and I were over at Boat Construction Island and I was working on the boat and he was working on something else. And then we ended up spending like an hour just staring at the boat, talking about it. And I think we got it all worked out. Uh, I'm using a super simple pedal wheel, paddle wheel, with pedals. Um, you know, because like they're easy to make, easy to deal with. They're, they're, they're not complicated, easy to repair. There's not much I can go wrong with them. There's just a lot of benefits to them. And then uh, the front cargo area, I think, I'm just going to put wood boards across that can be removed so that we only need the, the weight of the front floor if we're actually taking a bunch of cargo. And no one's going to sit on the pontoons. The pedal stuff's all going to go between the pontoons so I don't have to cut into the pontoons to make space for the pedals. And Plus, you know, if you're sitting way out on the pontoon, it's harder to get in the shade. So, <clears throat> according to my imperial noodle units here, anyway. I've got a six foot tape measure here, and that's the space between the pontoons. So I figure two feet can be for pedals, then two feet can be for the paddle wheel, and then another two feet for the pedals. And I'll have to, you know, not go right up to the edge of six feet, because I don't want to be scraping the pontoons. I need to remember that. So if I can get all my corners to be like this, it's pretty good. It's a pretty tight corner. I can come in like two inches from the end, it's like five centimeters, and that'll be enough space to not hit the pontoon, and still plenty of space. So here's the five foot mark, that would be where the middle thing, that, yeah, that's, that's tons of space. This could even come in more, or I could just leave a bit of extra space here, yeah. <clears throat> All right, first thing I need to do, bend the first corner, that's just going to be the one that goes out to the bearing. And when I do it, I need to mark it a lot so I know where this corner ends up being in relation to where I put the bender. Because I'm going to need things on this to line up, like the, the four spots where the bearings will be. They'll have to be lined up pretty well. So I need, the bend, I need to know exactly where the bender is going to put the pipe. All right, pipe thing. Put it there. Don't 
kink, don't kink, don't kink. Almost 90 degrees. Alright. Not bad. Oh, I think I went slightly past 90 degrees. And that is pretty close to kinking, but still within acceptable parameters. And it looks like it's 90 degrees to here, and then this part of the pipe curves a little. So if I take my hammer and straighten this part out, because this is where the, the pedal part is, where you put your feet, and I'm going to want to make a roller bearing on this, so I want this to be straight. Now the part at the other end of the thing, that came out really straight. So when I do the next curve, it should leave this straight. So I guess I'll just have to doctor these a little bit. I'll get a hammer and smack it. <clears throat> nice that this pipe is so strong. Okay, that looks pretty excellent. Of course, the alternative to this is to just get a bunch of PVC pipes and use 90 degree anglers and it wouldn't be nearly as strong. So, I guess I've got one shot at this. I better say this in case I lose my line. From here to the outside edge of here is five imperial noodle units. Tough. It's denting right into the steel pipe. <sighs> Maybe that means it's time for breakfast. I had a steel pipe here. It wouldn't crack. I'm wrapping it in fiberglass, so it wouldn't matter that it's rusty steel. I don't have one anyway. I'm not waiting to get one. The benefit of using this was the strength, which is not existent now with crack. So it would be relying on the fiberglass wrapped around it anyway, so... Alright, moving on to option number B. Man, my junk supplies are dwindling. But I think I have enough of this size PVC pipe to make the thing. I think I'm going to go classic candle melt the pipe technique. And I can use these on the ends because they don't have to be tight corners. And it looks like I'm going to have to 90 degrees alize these things too. That's fine. Ah, you know what? Forget those. Just start from scratch. Start with the long pipe, because that will definitely have enough to do one side of pedals. angles. This obviously isn't the strongest corner in the world, but it doesn't matter at this point. I just need something to be the right shape because it's going to get covered in fiberglass. Uh, this is a really important one. Because the piece coming out here has to line up with that piece there. Because there's going to be a bearing there and a bearing here. Just have to keep this lined up while it cools. That's pretty good. Mm, 
Now we need to make another one. And that pipe's obviously not long enough. Let's see if we can see some a little, a little baby duck in there. Don't worry, I'm not gonna bother you. She has six baby ducks so far. Good job, Mama. Alright, alright, I'm going away. My junk pile is kind of pitiful right now. I've been slacking off. I need to get more junk. I did find a pipe that kind of already has a job. It's not that important. I can take it. Actually, the first pipe had a job too. It was the phone from the third floor to the first floor in the house here. So people could talk into the pipe and hear it. The different floor. Anyway, not that important. I can replace it. I'm making one set of pedals pretty big and the other ones are much smaller or do you think that these ones are small enough that you'll be able to pedal on them probably good what about you bellatrix yes yeah good ah oh, beauty nice and this pipe fits inside this pipe so i'll be able to put them together yes that's pretty much what I want there. I'll have to measure, make sure it's the right distance. Obviously I can adjust in the middle. Oh, that's great. Now I need to get fiberglass on it and make sure these stay lined up. Yeah, this thing down the middle has to all be straight. Then I can worry about the paddle wheel in the middle. This one's huge. Back up, Elsa. Are you Fluffy Fuffball? Fluffy Fuffball? That should be your name. Fluffy Fuffball. But we don't even know what you are yet. 